Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 51. Sensitivity, the true positive rate. What is sensitivity? Sensitivity is the proportion of all people with disease who test positive or the probability that the test detects disease when the disease is present. So if you remember the 2x2 two two table that we talked about, it's the TP, um, so when the test shows positive and the person also has the disease, it's the TP, which is the true positive. What is the equation of sensitivity? The equation of sensitivity is TP over TP plus FN. So that's true positive over true positive plus false negative. And that will give you the equation of sensitivity. Also, the equation of sensitivity is 1 minus false negative rate. So basically what you're trying to do when you're trying to get sensitivity is how often do you get false results that you, that's what you're trying to exclude out. What goal are you trying to achieve when using a high sensitivity test? When using high sensitivity tests, you're trying to get value approaching 100, which is desirable in ruling out disease and indicates a low false negative rate. And sensitivity tests are used for screening disease with low prevalence. So basically the reason for using high sensitivity tests is to basically get the accurate diagnosis of the disease. So you're trying to look for the actual true positive, actual uh, patients that actually are, uh, have the disease. What is the mnemonic to help you remember sensitivity tests? The mnemonic to help you remember sensitivity tests is PID, which is positive in disease, and SNOUT which is sensitivity rules out disease. Describe the scenario if a test had 100% sensitivity. In 100% sensitivity, the false negative would be zero because false negative means that the person actually has the disease, but the test is showing that the person doesn't have disease. So false negative would be zero. That means if they're false negative, that means that are, they are actually true negative. That means they do not have the disease if they're showing negative on a 100% sensitivity test. So again, false negative would be zero. That means all negatives must be true negatives. And in 100% sensitivity, you would have true positive over true positive plus false negative. And since we said false negative is going to be zero in 100% sensitivity test, the equation would equal one. So this would be 100% sensitivity test. And that means that everything it's detecting, it's actually patients that have the disease. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.